welcome to Springer's Guide to Spring. Today we will discuss 12 fruits and veggies to plant this spring. The sun is shining and the ground is thawing. Are you thinking about what to plant this spring? Here are a few low maintenance fruits and vegetables you can grow even as a beginner. Some fruits to grow are honeydew and raspberries. A few vegetables that you can grow this spring are cucumbers, beets, carrots, tomatoes, peppers, beans, broccoli, garlic, potatoes, and onions. There are certain times to plant them so that the plant turns out the best. Raspberries, onions, garlic, broccoli, and beets should be planted in early spring. Potatoes should be planted in the beginning of spring. Honeydew and tomatoes should be planted in late spring. Beans, peppers, carrots, and cucumbers are a little more specific. Beans grow best when in direct sunlight for at least 6 hours. The temperature of the ground should be at least 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Same for peppers. You can use a digital thermometer or a soil thermometer to check the temperature of the soil. And it is best to check the temperature of the soil at night when the ground is the coldest. Carrots should be planted a few weeks before the last frost, and cucumbers should be planted two weeks after the last frost. Your local's library should have an almanac of when the last frost will be of this year. If you plant strawberries in early spring, it will bring the best tasting crops. They are prone to rot root, however, so they would do best in a raised bed that drains well. Planting onions and compost helps balance the moisture content. Do not forget to water them every single day. They should be planted about six inches apart. Garlic works as a natural insect repellent, and you should plant them two inches apart and cut off any pretty little flowers that may pop up as they slow down the growth of the bulb. Broccoli can survive in colder climates and thrive in slightly acidic soil. Plant them half an inch apart and fertilize after three weeks of planting. Beets do well in cold but not frozen ground. They do not grow well if it is hot outside. And they can be grown in pots because they do not need a lot of room to grow. But the soil needs to be moist, loose, and rock free for those and potatoes. The ground should be loose so they do not become disformed and taste and they will start to taste bitter if you keep them in the sunlight for too long. Um so cover them up. Tomatoes on the other hand love sun and need lots of it. If you add a lot of compost and fertilizer um and if you plant them far away from each other, they will turn out amazing. Honeydew should be in a hill, which is a crate for vining crops. Melons do really well in manure, so put three to four seeds in a hole with manure. Spring is the best time to plant because it's cold and insects and diseases are not as active. Like Raspberries attract Japanese beetles, but they do not emerge until June. There are a lot of bugs that feed off onions, but if you wash the bulb in hot water before you plant it, it can disinfect the bulb, getting rid of all of the mites and bugs that are on or in the bulb. There are 13 different common beet pests. If you keep your gutters and garden clean, you should not have to deal with them as bad. Many bugs also love tomatoes and that try to eat them, obviously. So there is a home remedy mixed with chili powder, dish soap, and water where all you have to do is spray the plant or spray what you spot. So if you see a bug, you just spray it. Carrots can get infested by flies and wasps, but a gentle spray with neem oil surrounding the plant will do the job just fine.